Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Darkest Dungeon. So, since we can get provisions for free, we are going to do the courtyard. Obviously, we won't do all of it in one go, but we'll do as much as we possibly can. And I brought... hold on. I brought a Man at Arms, a Houndmaster, a Jester and a Vestal. They got their trinkets. I gave the Jester a Bright Tambourine, because that will increase his stress skill. I leveled up their skills to maximum, so level 4. I could still upgrade some of their weapons and armor, I just don't want to spend all of my money. But I suppose we could do it. Yeah, as you can see, it's not exactly cheap. And, well, I could make it a little bit cheaper, actually. Let's see. We need 18, right? Okay, let's do it. That will make it cheaper. Might as well. Now, I don't think we can afford everything. Technically we can, but I won't have a whole lot of money left if I do that. 1800. Let's do armor first. Okay, so that's 16,000. You know what, what the heck, let's upgrade everything. I hope I'm not going to regret that. But we can always do an antiquarian run after. So there we go. Alright, so let's do it. We got the trinkets. We got a jester for stress reduction. He has a disease, but it's mostly an irrelevant one. So it doesn't matter. Alright, let's do this. Now, we can get provisions for free, which means we might as well fill our inventory. Because honestly, there's no reason not to do that. We can always just destroy things. So, right, let's get one stack of everything. And more torches. Actually, no, we don't need torches for light. Just for some of the interactions. And we can get some blood. Okay, well, this looks fine. Do we need more shovels? I think we can get more shovels. One more stack of something? Maybe. Anti-venom or bandages, maybe. Okay, sure. Alright, let's go. So, the layout here is always the same, but I can't say I remember it, because I've done this before. But yeah, I definitely can't remember the layout. I can remember some of it vaguely, but definitely not all the details. Okay then, yeah, I don't remember any of these interactions, we can test some of it. Oh yeah, actually this one takes a bandage. We can see that. I'll pass on the gold for now. We aren't here for the gold, we're here to do as much as possible. We will not kill the Baron in this run, but we'll do as much as we can. We'll see about that. That was not a good start. Not in any way, shape or form. Okay then. So, let's maybe buff ourselves. What's their bleed resist? 35%. We got 130 base. Okay, let's hit them with a bleed then. Here, one actually resisted. Alright then. 170% stun resist. We can probably kill the man servant. Yes, we can. Alright then. Now, unfortunately, I can't use Hound's Rush because we got shuffled around. So, we can either land a bleed or we can reduce their protection. Let's reduce their protection. Here, debuffed. So that's zero protection, as opposed to 20%. Then we can use Rampart to move ourselves back into the front position. The stun will not land, but we'll move back into the proper position. Just like that. While doing a little bit of damage. And let's start reducing the stress, because we'll have to do that a lot during this run. Might as well get started. We want to keep it below 100 as long as possible. 
So that's not a kill just yet. But this should be. Yup. Okay then. So we need 14 damage. Slice off. Oh yeah, we can't use that. Who has the most stress? That would be the men at arms. Okay then. Here, done. Looking good. Alright, let's start a stack of gold. Here. Might as well. Let's move on. We are only just getting started. There's a lot more of this to come. Okay then. Now, we will probably get the Crimson Curse because that's kind of hard to avoid. But it will go away after we kill the Baron. So what do we kill first? What's their bleed resist? 35-40%. There we go, it landed. How about stun resist? Only 35%. Okay, let's try a stun. There we go. Nice one. And more bleed, I think. Yes, yeah, slice of will do. Nope, resisted. That was actually quite unlucky. But alright. There's the Crimson Curse, but that's fine. Judgment to heal ourselves and do some damage. We need 8 more damage on that thing. Yeah, it's pretty annoying, which is why I'm killing it first. Let's see how that goes. That is not quite enough. We are one damage off, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I still have to kill it. Let's just do it. Done. And might want to do some proper healing now. Okay, nice one. Not quite enough, unfortunately. It will get a chance to attack again. Alright then. The blaze will be quite useful in this place. Alright, we need how much more? Not much more. Here, it's dead. Can we get one more heal in? Probably not. No, it's dead. Okay then, blood. Right, we probably want that. But... I'm not quite willing to destroy anything. Well, we can destroy medicinal herb. Because we have a full stack. And let's take the blood. We will almost certainly need it. Not to mention we'll find more. And we'll need it in the future. So, I think we should go this way, but like I said, I don't really remember the details. Slavering Ghoul, right. That thing needs to die first. No doubt about that. It will probably get a chance to attack. Most certainly. Let's see which attack it will use. Okay, single target. Because they also have AoE stress attack. I want to kill it before it gets a chance to use that. Okay, nice one. That should be almost enough. One judgment should do. Or slice off, that works too. Yep, it's dead. Nice one. The Magos are easy enough. I think we can get one more heal in. Yeah, let's not kill it just yet, although... Never mind, just kill it. We'll get plenty of chances to heal ourselves. Oh yeah, we can still heal one more time. Heal the Chester. Bye-bye. Yeah, I will not be picking that up. 
Nope, I'm afraid not. Let's just move on. Like I said, we are not here for the gold. Okay, that uses a torch, if I remember right. Let's use that, at least it will get memorized. Again, I'm not picking anything up right now. We should probably use the dog treats early. But I think I'd rather keep them for the croc. I can't quite remember where exactly the croc is. But we'll keep them for now. For some of the harder fights at least. Anyway... Seriously, you missed? Okay then. Never mind. Here, that's better. That's much, much better. Next up, the Sycophant. What's our chance? 91%. That's good enough. Judgment should do. Yep, that will kill it. And we healed ourselves at the same time. Going well so far, but we are only just getting started. These are some of the easiest fights we'll have in here. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. We should probably reduce that stress a little bit, actually. Instead of using Slice Off. That was enough damage, nice. And that was also enough damage. Good job. Okay, Skeleton Key, Holy Water, Padlock of Transference, yeah, I'll pass on all of that. Let's move on. Okay, Secret Door, I remember that Secret Door, actually. Let's move on in this direction. Okay, what does this guy use? I think it was a torch. Honestly, I don't remember. No, it was not a torch. Okay, then. Oh, I think it was the blood. Yeah, that was it. Blood for treasure, which I'll have to pass on, unfortunately. Okay. Well, at least now we know for sure. 36 stress. And hey, we got inventory space now. Probably for something worth gold. Oh, this is a dead end. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, I think we have to go this way now. Fine. Hopefully we'll find some more food on the way. Because this is as much as I was able to buy. I don't remember if this was also a dead end or not. I think so. I'm pretty sure it was, and there's nothing of interest in there. Let's go this way. Okay, another slavering goal. Let's deal with that then. Land some bleeds. I'm not using dog streets yet, I'm just going to save them for the croc. We'll need them on the croc way more than on this. Just saying. Death waits for the slightest now, I'm not sure if I will be able to take the treasure from that secret room. <laughs> Probably not. Let's get there first. We do have one inventory slot, but we'll also need some space for the key. Yeah, here's the AoE stress attack. I can remove that though. Because I did bring Laudanum. First, let's reduce stress on the Vestal. That's minus 13. It's normally minus 11, but it's minus 13 because we have the Bright Tambourine. That was not a very good damage. Yeah, now it's basically dead. It's at 6 health and it will bleed for 6 on the next turn. We are back to 42. That's why we have the Jester. I would say the Jester is almost mandatory for this. Or at least it's way harder to do it in as few runs as possible without a Jester. Because you'll just hit 100 and then 200 stress. With the Jester we can delay that moment significantly. Bye bye. 
surrounding sanguination be considered. So, okay, we got some food. I'll take that. And where's that secret door? Right here. Oh, right, we'll get a character, I remember now. Well then, that was quite nice. Yeah, I remember that part now. He will join our roster. Torch. I hope five torches will be enough, maybe we should have brought more. Okay. Shovel. If only Sapphire, I'll take one for now. But I might end up destroying it to get more inventory space. We'll see. This way? We'll probably run out of torches first. We'll see. We'll worry about that later, and that was some nasty damage right there. Yep. So, let's open with Slice Off. We need a heal, badly. Decent, that's a kill basically. Okay, he's not attacking our wounded guy, that's good. Let's get a heal in. Before he bleeds. There, you're fine, it's fine. It's just a scratch, clearly. Maybe we can stun it and then heal one more time? Possibly, yeah. Let's stun it. It will just die from the bleed now, actually. Okay, inspiring tune. On ourselves for now. And yeah, let's not kill it just yet. We might get a chance to heal one more time. I would like to. Yes, we can. Here, that's much better. And we can use Inspiring Tune again. Nice. Yes, yeah, stress shouldn't be a problem with a Jester in our group. Definitely not. Alright, let's move on. Any point interacting with that? Maybe we'll get another Sapphire. No, we will not get another Sapphire. Onwards. Our health is not looking too great. We need some good healing. Okay, this might not be a bad moment to use one Dog Treat. Because we are not in a great shape at the moment. And the Chevalier can be quite nasty. Let's reduce their speed. Here, that will definitely help. And then... Harvest. Land two bleeds. So, Hound's Rush can do up to 11 damage. We might be able to kill one. There we go! Nice. Okay, and a little bit of healing. We need that. Because we'll probably take a lot of damage. So, group heal or single target? Let's go with single target. Okay, I can live with that. We just don't want them to crit us. That should do. And not quite. Let's go with Harvest, that will hopefully land two bleeds. We got 130% base, and they only got 35 and 40% bleed resist. So the chance to have it resisted is pretty damn low. And if we use Hound's Harry, that will kill the supplicant in the front, while landing more bleeds on the two in the back. Yep, exactly like that. More healing. Oh yeah, craving. Right. I suppose we can counter that. It's fine. Only five more blood. But we will find more on the way, I'm not too worried about that. So, 20 health. Come on people, try harder. More bleeds. 
There, that's 9 damage per turn, we only need 3 more. There we go, it's down. Now we kill this sycophant. Or we could try to stun it. You know what, let's stun it actually. Or we can miss, that's also a possibility, never mind. That should kill it. Yup. Done. Alright then. Let's move on. We still got our dog treats. This way. Knock knock. Nothing here. So where do we go? This way? Honestly, I don't remember all the details of the layout, like I said. Okay, empty room again. Fine by me, I'm not in a huge rush to fight more. Still nothing. Okay, this way. We'll just go everywhere. More potential treasure. We do have a lot of shovels. Uh, wait, is that the shovel? No, that was the torch. Let's save our torches, because we also need them to remove blockades. And we only got five, that's not too many, honestly. Okay, some corpse eaters. That's probably going to be the single easiest fight we'll have in this entire place. Most likely, yeah. Okay then. One down. We could maybe use this opportunity to reduce our stress a little bit. Because they don't do a whole lot of damage. They do have blight, but I'm not too worried about that. Group heal. We can try to leave one alive, and maybe stun it. So, inspiring tune. One more group heal. Yeah, we got a crit on the wrong person, but alright. That's about the most damage it can do. And we still resisted the blight. Let's stun it. With Rampart. Nope, never mind. Well, you tried. Just kill it then. A little bit of extra gold. And let's move on. So, this way. Anything around here? Yeah, I'm not going to waste torches for this. Let's just move on. Not craving anymore. I expect the Jester to be craving sometime soon. Nothing in here. Okay, onwards. I'm pretty sure there's something this way. I know there's some treasure in some of the dead ends, so that would be nice. Okay, well, here's some treasure, but that's just a regular chest. Right, this would be a good moment to use that dog treat. How do we do this? Let's actually buff ourselves a little. Yep, let's do that. That will give us extra accuracy and extra speed. How about a stun? 60%, 40% stun resist, and we got 130 base, let's do that. Here, it landed, nice one. We could also try Rampart, or we could try to kill the Manservant. Or we could use Bellow. Yeah, that works. Here, 3 out of 4 landed, that's good enough. So that will debuff their dodge and their speed. So now we have a speed buff and they have speed debuff. Let's use the dog treat. And start doing damage to them. We need to kill at least one quickly, because they can do quite a lot of damage. Pretty quickly. Especially if they get crits. 
We don't want that to happen. And I think they have a stun, if I remember right. So... Let's go for Harvest. Nice one. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. We only need two more damage. Hounds Harry will do it. Okay, that's guard on everyone. Yeah, okay then. That's not quite what I was looking for. But never mind, we'll just kill it. Fine by me. And we just need a little bit of extra damage here. There, done. It will die from the bleed. Nice. What now? Well, we can't stun the supplicant, that's not going to happen. Let's just hit it and kill it instantly, good job! So that leaves us with just one enemy. Now we can do some stress reduction. We are up to 45. Okay, let's reduce that a little bit. We could just stun this thing again, but honestly, I think I'd rather kill it quickly. Stun isn't granted to land. Here, now it's dead. Bye-bye. Okay, health stone, I'll pass on that. Oh, a lost treasury box, this is a special chest. I don't think a skeleton key actually works on this. And uh, no, that will do nothing. So what is this going to be? Uh, these are not super useful, actually. So I'm going to pass. Plus 10 accuracy to ranged skills. Now that's not terrible. Honestly, the poisoned herb is not terrible either. We could destroy one shovel stack. I don't think we'll need 8 shovels. That seems unlikely. I might take the Steady Bracer, I don't have a lot of trinkets that increase accuracy. And that's useful for quite a few classes. Yeah, let's get that. Fine by me. And that is actually a dead end. Alright then. Let's go back in that case. We are nowhere close to done, we are not even one fourth done yet. But it's fine, it's going quite well so far. We got a highwayman. We got some gold. Would be nice to get more than one sapphire, then that stack would be worth a lot more. If we don't get another, I'll probably end up destroying it at some point. Anyway, this way. Off we go. Anyone home? Hello? Oh, yep, he's craving. Here, have some blood, it's fine. So that uses a bandage. I was quietly hoping for a sapphire, but hey, we got a full stack of gold now. I will be keeping that one at least, I want some gold out of this run. Yeah, that requires a torch. I'm not going to use one. Okay, we got a battle in the next room and a trap. Who has the highest disarm skill? 80%. Where's that trap? Oh yeah, there it is. Disarmed. That's a torch again. Not going to use that. Okay, another nasty group. So I guess we should kill the main servant fairly quickly. Otherwise it will use that nasty guard ability. Let's open with harvest. That is almost enough to kill it. We are literally one damage off. Well, now it will die. Unless it can heal itself, which I don't think it can. So speaking of healing... We should probably do that. Yeah, let's do that. And then... And then what? Reduce their dodge and speed. Here. All of it landed, nice one. And then... 
We land some blades. Here, all of them landed. Very nice. So that's five damage per round. Two damage per round and two damage per round. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Come on, people. They got minus five speed. That's pretty funny. Oh, no, we are stunned. Not good. So they do have a stun. I remembered right. Let's try to kill this one. It has the highest bleed stack. But we do need some healing. I can't just ignore that. As much as I would like to use judgment. That is almost enough. No, I think that's enough. Not quite. We are two damage off. And unfortunately our Huntmaster was stunned. Otherwise he could have finished the job. We just resisted the Crimson Curse. Nice. Okay. Well, that's his last attack. I think. Debuff. Oh, great. Minus 40 dodge. Holy crap. That's a lot of minus dodge. That is not so great. Not at all. Here, that will kill it. Yes, it will, but we need healing. Let's go with group heal, maybe. No, let's heal the Jester. Because he's bleeding as well. I can remove that bleed. Speaking of bleeds, they will both bleed out. So at least we got that going for us. Come on, people. So, let's go for some stress reduction, shall we? Yes, let's. Done. 1000 gold. Yeah, I would like to pick that up. However... Yeah, I don't know about this. I guess we could destroy the bandages. Okay, fine. I hope I'm not going to regret that. Let's move on. Oh, this way. Okay, fine. Let's go. So that would be a torch, which I'm not willing to use. Is there a fight in this room? No, there is not. Scouting. Yeah, now we can go this way. Okay, let's go this way. And there's a blockade. We could go around that blockade if we want to. We'll worry about that later. So, shovel if we want to use it. I'm still hoping for a sapphire at some point. Well, at least we got our shovel back, so there's that. There's a fight right here. Just ahead of us. Oh, that's just maggots and a spider, no problem. Let's kill that spider. I don't want blight on me. Back to the pit. Is it enough? And do a little bit of healing. Compassion is a yeah, plus 20, that's pretty nice. Resisted. Nice one. Executed with impunity. Onyx. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. All right, next. That's a dead end. All right. Now, I don't remember if this room branches off. We could do it, or we could skip it. Oh, great. I walked into a trap. Well, that wasn't here previously, but okay. Not too happy about that. Not happy about that at all. Just don't kill my jester, thanks. That would be highly appreciated. He needs a heal. Oh, come on. Really now? What the heck? Well, then... I guess we won't be continuing much longer. That was a troll move. I wasn't even looking at the map because we were just going through this corridor. Yeah. That was really unlucky too. That was the first death blow check in this entire run. And now I don't think I have another jester on my roster. 
we might have to level one up. Well, I guess it happens. I would like to get my items back. So... Well, I guess we won't be needing as much food. What else? Get rid of the shovels. So, maybe we can kill at least another group or two. Probably not this one. We cleared a reasonable amount. We did get a highwayman. Maybe we should just leave. Yeah, you know what, let's just leave. We can get invitations. Quite easily. I'm not worried about the invitations. Let's just go. Shame it ended that way, but that was just unlucky, straight up. 4600 gold. Yeah, he was almost level 4 too. In time, do we have another jester on the roster? Of my I don't think we do. Yeah, we do. One. He's level one. We'll just have to level him up. Let's check the stagecoach. Level two leper. Okay, I think I'm going to grab him. We can save some gold if nothing else. Because higher level characters come with upgraded skills and upgraded armor and weapons. So that will save us quite a lot of money. Let's see, we can dismiss the Bounty Hunter. We only have one Bounty Hunter right now. Well, we don't have to dismiss anyone, we are at 27 out of 29. So this is fine. This and we'll get the Rescued Highwayman, he's level 3. So he will come with everything upgraded. And now we are full. Do we want that Jester? He is level 1, I think I'm going to grab him. And maybe kick out the Shieldbreaker? We do have another shield breaker, so I think I'm happy enough with one shield breaker. Or we can kick out the herbalist. We do have a level one herbalist. I think so. Well, one of them anyway. Let's kick out the shield breaker. Sorry, bro. It is done. And we'll get the Jester. Now to there, the so we got two Jesters again. Remain. We'll just have to level them up. Anyway, do we need to send anyone to stress reduction facilities? Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay, this guy. Do we have any diseases? I think we have like one. Let's take a look. No, we don't have any. As far as I can tell. Okay then. Well, I guess that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.